Hello and welcome to Divine RPG with me, the most epic one, aka Mr. Sarrett. So last episode we finished up with Mithril Dimension. We created Dimension to Argite, I think it's called. And we've also got Dungeons of, Dungeons of Arcana, I think it is, that we have to check out. Two dimensions to check out. The dungeons down here, they're, mm, I suppose they're kind of a, a bonus dimension, sort of similar to Isika. They don't really progress you from one dimension to the next. There's no, you go here, you end up at the next dimension, like all these others. With the dungeons, it's, I don't know, I suppose you can go through there, get a few bonus things. It's still a little bit weird that some of these sat down differently. Sat down differently. Oh well. This one here. Oh no. Ah! Dang it. Not this one here. We know what this one here is. The end. And I've got to find my way out. The. Ah, there it is. Eh. Uh, we got, ah, we ended Minecraft, yay. Let's not... Let's not and say we did. Yeah, the Argite, I think it is. I always mix it up with Azerite. Ooh, scared the crap out of me again. Even though I now know that they don't do anything unless you attack them, they still get me. The, um... Argite. Argite, whatever it is. Argite Depths or something. I should... Look at that. It goes to... yeah, Depths. Wow, I got that right. This one here is the last of these dimensions. There is one more, Vethia. It's... it works a little bit different and it's a... Oh, hello. Goodbye. I guess it's, it's kind of a standalone dimension. You still need to go through all these dimensions to get to it. However, it does not... Well... You don't... What? Oh! Balls. What the hell? <laughs> oh! Oh no! Okay, so... Uh, uh. Huh. Can't even fly above them without being sucked into it. Yeah, the last dimension, when you go through there, you actually lose all your items. You've, you've got to start afresh. So we don't want to do that. We are... well... Oh, I forgot to mention, I've actually also crafted myself a new set of mithril armor. Yeah. First of all, dimensions. Well, we just accidentally popped into the dungeons. Let's... let's go into here. We don't need to go into here, but we're going to go in and have a look anyway. Once we're in there, we'll have a look at... okay, good. We'll have a look at the armor that I've crafted off camera. I actually filmed myself doing this, but bodged that up so you don't get to see it. Yep, so I did do a little bit more, bit more farming and got enough souls in order to craft the mithril set of armor. It's... Oh god, that music sounds incredibly loud. Still sounds loud, but oh well. Yeah, it's a it's a good set of armor. Damage reduction is very high, some of the highest in the game. Infinite uses, of course, like all the Twilight Dimension armors. Full damage protection is not a bad thing, and five times jump height is also useful. The thing is, angelic armor has flight. It allows flight. I can fly. With fall damage protection. So, five times jump height versus being able to fly. Yeah. The one advantage it does have, and it is a large advantage, it's a massive advantage, is the damage reduction. It's um, quite a lot more than the angelic armor. At only 12.5%. 
So it does have its advantages in this particular dimension, dungeons. I'm actually going to use the Uvite a fair bit. Now it has a block damage protection and in these dungeons you'll see all kinds of blocks right in front of me some yellow blocks right below me there's some yellowy browny blocks I am lagging like crazy always do in this dimension gonna have to stop recording I think okay we are back and divine craft divine RPG is lagging like crazy so we're going to see how we go, see if we can't keep going with it. Alright, now these, what was I getting at? These blocks here, these blocks set you on fire and you die. With the angelic armor you die pretty much in three ticks. But with the uvite armor, block damage protection, I will not take damage while standing on these blocks. I still don't want to stand on them because they set you on fire. These things here, extractor, weird altar thingy. You can do a bit of trading there, I guess. Now, that one over there is actually pretty much the same thing. I am rushing right now for a reason, and that is because this, this dimension's very laggy. We actually want to get down below. A good idea would be to knock out a block. Um, Fortunately, you can't actually destroy the blocks in this dimension, with exception to the ores. And yeah, they light up red when they're killing you, basically setting you on fire whenever you touch them. So we're going to see if we can get through the dimension. No, we can't. Okay, go down, fall, straight away, fall, fall, fall. Well, that was close. Good. I guess. Oh, no, I've got the block protection only on. Anyway. Okay, it's it's a bit of a maze, and they weren't actually the blocks that kill you. A bit of a maze, this dimension, and very deadly as well. So we are going to get out our mithril blade. And pretty much just wander around. Oh, protection good because I don't want to fall down here. And guess what's down there? Certain death. I have a feeling I've got to go down there. Ah, oh, I do. Well, there you go. You can touch these blocks from the side and they do also damage you sometimes. Wrong way. The only way to destroy any of these blocks is to go into creative. Oh, which of course is not what I'll be doing. Uh, no, that's not the way we came down. All right, I'm already lost. Nuts. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> uh oh, I have a feeling we're about to die. Yep. Dang it! Only way to get out of that trap. Oh, let's put armor back on. Um, let's let's try our new armor. It might actually come in handy here. A little bit more damage protection and the ability to jump higher. It's meant to have fall damage protection too. Apparently not. All right, let's go back through. See how we go. Fall. Thank you. We are going to take damage on those blocks though. But, hopefully with... Oh, this extra jumping is actually a little bit disorienting. The... Most different way again. Whoa. Oh, oh, straight back here. Aha! 
yeah the damage reduction is a fair bit more so hopefully it's enough to make us last just that little bit if we do step on one of those blocks stupid death point uh, ooh. we'd be able to jump out now but still I don't want to oh no oh no Oh, this place is painful to go through. What? Dang it. We're a dead end. Thank you, fire. Hmm. I want to go through there. Say no. Hmm. Well, I'm completely lost. I think what I'm going to do is stop recording and go looking for an area. And looking at the map, it is through there that I want to get. But we're back in a second. And welcome back. We have been wandering around looking for what it is we're meant to be doing. We kind of have a bit more of an idea now. We found some Razorbacks here. They're not the only mobs I've killed. When you kill mobs you get these collector fragments. Sometimes. These things kill me far too easily so I'm going to pick on them from a bit of a distance. Let's see what we get for killing this guy. Yep, there we go. He dropped a fragment. Kill a couple more. This is a very slow weapon. Oh. Oh, well. I lied. It's a bit faster. Let's get this. Yep. So I do have my angelic armor on flying around. Once you get 16 of these, you're looking for this guy here. Lord Vaticus. 16 of those gets you a collector charged. You can also trade Arcanium Arcanum? This stuff here, the ore from this area from this dimension, which gets you the armor set which has regen whilst you're in this area by the looks of it, but quite low damage reduction. You've got the Vemus helmet, the Vemus set health regen pretty much anywhere by the look of it. I have no idea what that is. Uh, Staff of Enrichment. That might have something to do with... Oh, a wizard's book. That's also for summoning a couple more big mob things. Potions. Orb of Light. Anyway, you get a lot of different things from him. But the main thing you're going to want from him is the collector charged... Who's me? What's it? This is to spawn a boss mob type thing. Oh, we got more of them. Good. And from that you collect keys. Don't go too far, Lordy. We need three more. I know there's a whole bunch. Oh, yeah. Look at them all down there. I'm kind of stuck up in this room at the moment. Dare I go down there? I might just thin their ranks a little bit first and hope. Dang. Hope that a Razorback does not spawn. <laughs> well, it did. That's okay. Because I'm not using command box. I'm not going to teleport myself there like a certain somebody else. I'm going to do something a little bit different yet the same. <laughs> uh, it's most likely going to kill me because it has constantly you don't actually need to place down those command blocks all you have to do is click to your I fell straight to him click to your latest death point but you've got to make sure you fly pretty damn quick <laughs> does work I swear I've done it a couple of times it's it's a little bit cheaty a little bit I'll just wait until I get there and then we'll be back Okay, we're back, and um, I built myself a little, <laughs> a little barrier because we have more than just these razorbacks after us now. 
Ow! Dang it. There's also some strange hounds. Death hounds or something along those lines. Uh, needless to say, I have died many, many times in order to get my dirt fortress built. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 bah, here we go. Oh, okay. Let's go back there again. Really? Seriously? You can't just teleport straight there, can you? No. Nope. Hey, what's the temple? I don't know. Can't even remember my waypoints. Alright, let's get back there again. And see if we can't move a little bit faster. A bit of lag with the rain going. A bit of lag. Quite a bit of lag actually. Come on, get me through. Donk. And Ah, yes, there we go, death hounds. Stay back against the wall and attack. They seem to be able to get me through the corner there. I should have been using my freaking good weapon. Kill the death hounds anyway. Oh, we... Whew. That didn't scare the crap out of me. Good, good. You're in the way. Right, there's another one down. More dying, come on. So many out there, they just keep spawning. You don't... Oh, Christ. You don't actually need too many. Oh! Can I hit you? I can. Very good. You only need the 16. Any more than that at this stage is kind of pointless because the item that you trade... Oops. The item that you trade... from Lord of... whatever his name is... it doesn't get used up when you use it to summon I want to place a block there. <sighs> I'll be back when I've dealt with all these. One sec. I really hope this is the last time I have to record. Uh, I'm getting really sick of reloading the game. We have had quite a lot of problems with the game crashing. Uh, repeatedly. Painfully over and over again well over a dozen times already whilst in this dimension the game has crashed so I'm probably not going to spend too much time in this dimension it may not be the dimension it may be maybe my computer it may be oh we got them all it may be all of divine RPG but whatever it is it's driving me nuts we finally got out of that room over there with the help of a lot of dirt We've got ourselves a Lord Vaticus. We've also got quite a few other NPCs in here. Your Captain Merica, who has some pretty decent weapons, armor, etc. 75 Arcana teleports the player. Oh, neat. 200 Arcana spawns a friendly wraith. Wow. So yeah, all kinds of neat weapons and the like that Captain sells. You need the Arcanium which you get from mining up. You can only get to the areas where you mine by spawning a different mob. And for him, that's what I needed the 16 of these fragments and Lord of Articus. Let's take one of you. Because that's all we need. You then need to find one of these altars. I think this is one of them. 
We have a, it's a Dramix altar. We've got one over there if this turns out not to be it. And is this it? Apparently not. Apparently not. Let's see if we can, if it's that one over there. Dramix altar. Oh. Oh, there's a few more NPCs spawned in here that weren't here previously. Is it the same altar? Oh! Whoa! Oh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Constructor! 100 health. And I'm going to kill you. Very nice. I'm also going to kill this Razorback because I know he's going to kill me as soon as I get near him. Alright, oh, there's more Razorbacks over there. I've got to be quick here. Alright, we got the key. These keys, we got two two purple keys. That's what we're after. You'll see that the collector charged. We still got it. It's not yet used up. Hey, yeah, we got you again. Alright. I only got 100 health. They're not terrible. Oh, that time we got a different type of key again. That was the yellow key. So... What I have to do now is pretty much farm these keys up once I killed this Razorback. Collect a bit of experience. Spawn another one. Oh! Your turn to die. Range weapons are proving to be very useful here. Oh, different colour again. I don't think I've used ranged weapons as much on any other dimension. Nothing. What have you got for me? Oh, there's another Razorback down there. They don't seem to be able to climb the Razorback. A potato. <laughs> you dropped a potato. Okay. I don't need a potato, <laughs> but why not? Silly Razorbacks. How many times are you going to kill me? Got to be up to about, oh, I'd say at least 20 plus deaths just whilst trying to film this episode. Now, I didn't really want a po excuse me, I didn't really want a potato. See if you can't give me something a little bit better, please, Construct. You gave me... nothing. Another Razorback. Well, these are the data, are they? Datacon. Another trader. More Arcanium. But anyway, we got to find a use for these keys. There... What is that? Is that a spawner? Maybe. Hmm. Ooh, another mob through there. These things I'm not a massive fan of. They've killed me plenty of times too. Death cracks. Oh, those... Those, um... Hounds that we've seen earlier, they. Oh. If they hit you, everything goes dark. So you don't want to. Don't want to spend too much time attacking them. Ah. Nope, no. Nope. I thought that was a. A door that requires a key. No, nope, you're not a door that requires a key either. Bound to be one around here somewhere. Fortunately, I'm pretty sure it's going to be <laughs> through. Oh, look at them all! Through one of these holes with all the mobs. First death in this dimension by a mob was actually one of these. <sighs> Good. Another one. Jeez. Just keep spawning. Coming. Didn't drop anything though. Scoot around. And. Oh! Well, this is the area that I think where I was originally dying whilst. Yeah. I just keep spawning in. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Got too close to one of those things. Oh. Painful. Let's go back 
and see if we can't do something with these keys. At least show you what it is that happens with them. Whoop. Alright, so... I think... Oh. Here we go. Can't actually get in there. Because you can't play... Oh, wait. Huh. So I could have gone in there all along. What was that? Oh. Aroma. You're going to die. I have killed a few of these before. They are in these... This little area, they'll just keep spawning. In here, you've got a key. Right there. Key spot. Let's see. It's not going to be the purple key, of course. Guessing it's going to be the yellow key. Hey! Are you? You... <laughs> you guys have got no idea how often I have died whilst filming this episode. <sighs> I'm going to go back there <laughs> and I am going to collect my spoils. You can't stop me. There is also... around here somewhere... Yeah, see, there is a doorway there that you can unlock using, I'm guessing, a red key. Oh, what? It just spawned another one? Come on, die. You die too. Let's get back around here. Let's get some dirt ready. Where do my dirt go? Woohoo! Oh, you can't place a block down there. I'll place it there, though. This here is, I'm guessing... What? Am I... Oh, I can kill those spawners. Oh, okay. Arcana ore. Fantastic. Only one, but... It's mine. Well, I still keep it. You can go to hell, you stupid thing. Roma. Let's go see... Oh no, we're lagging. Oh, the game's about to crash again. Is it? Oh, wait. Fix itself? No, it didn't. It did? No, it didn't. <laughs> uh, we'll be back in a sec once I reload the game. We're back. Again. And I have crashed four times since that last crash that you've seen. Oh, I've had enough. I am sick of this dimension. This is it. I'm not going to bother going through any further with it past this point just because it's going to kill me. I'm g it's going to kill me. It's going to be the end of me. I have I've gone into cheat mode, got rid of a few blocks around the portal. Uh, that has saved me from going backwards and forwards through the portal a thousand times. Before I finally get in here, you guys missed out on that for the most part. What I am going to do, these blocks here, I don't care. I've had enough. Those blocks are now dirt. Because I can't take it anymore. I just want to get this <laughs> over with. These are the extractors, I think, where you put this. I don't know how to fuel it. I'm guessing it's one of those ones or something. Really, um, I'm over it. I'm not even going to look it up. I don't care. <laughs> this... Oh, I've got no idea. None whatsoever. I am never been this frustrated in my life. But anyway, Dungeons of Arcan Arcana, Arcania, whatever the hell it is, um, we're not going to bother with it anymore. Fair enough. Goodbye. Next episode? No, don't fall down there. 
next episode we are hopefully not going to have the same problem we're going into that dimension over there yep that's the plan anyway I'm going to it's still going to suck me in if I fly over it I'm pretty sure but whatever alright done don't care bad enough of you next episode this one here and if we crash even once I'm probably going to scream but that screaming is going to have to wait for next episode hopefully you've I don't know, got some purpose out of this episode, or something, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> whatever, anyway, I hope I'll see you next episode, bye bye.